Hello, welcome to another Rust tutorial video. If you're a regular visitor to the channel, you will be aware that I produce quite a few different Rust electricity tutorials. Uh, I've had a few comments from various people stating that in these tutorials I'm using the generator, which, as we all know, well, as most of you will know, is not in the main game yet. So what I've decided to do today is produce a short tutorial showing you how to use the two main methods, well, two only methods at the moment of getting electricity into a battery. That is the solar panel and the wind turbine. I'm sure a lot of you out there know how to use these two items, but as I said, with the comments I've been having, I thought it was just better to do a short tutorial for those that don't know. Okay, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of the solar panel. It costs 75 scrap to research, uh, it costs 25 high qual to produce, and it will output anything from 0 to 20 power per panel. Now, being a solar panel, it obviously has to be in direct sunlight. It's not going to work at night, and also if it's got a shadow cast across it, that's going to also affect its ability to produce electricity. So you want to bear in mind uh, when you're in game where the sun rises and where the sun sets. So we're going to show you how to place four panels here. Always bear in mind as well the panel in front will cast a shadow over the panel behind if you put it too close. So you want to put a little bit of a gap between the panels. Obviously space permitting. Now you want a root combiner between each panels and then you need a main root combiner which I'll show you why in a second. So you connect all of your panels up to your root combiners. Now then you want to connect your two root combiners up to your main root combiner. And now you'll see the combined power output is 52 because you're combining all four panels. The maximum you'll be able to get out of those four panels, as I said, it's 20 power per panel, so obviously 80 will be the maximum you get out depending on where the sun is and then connect that up to your battery and you'll see the battery will start charging one important consideration to make when you're producing anything using electricity is if you've got that battery connected up to a switch there's a thing it's called line loss and it will drain the battery even though you're not actually using the power for anything so the best thing I find is when you're starting an electrical installation, wire everything up, whether it be a wind turbine or a solar panel, up to your battery, whether it be a small or large battery, and don't connect the output initially. Give it time to charge up, and you'll find it charge up a lot quicker than if you've got switches and everything connected up. Okay, now let's move on to the wind turbine. Main advantage with the wind turbine is it will produce electricity 24-7, unlike the solar panel. In terms of cost, it costs 125 scrap to research. To make one, it costs 1500 wood, 30 high quality metal, 3 gears and 10 sheet metal. It will output 0 to 150 power per wind turbine depending on the height you place it and also the wind will fluctuate throughout the, the rust day anyway. To get the best out of these turbines it is better to put them on top of a tower if you can but if that's not a possibility depending on how your base is designed then they do still work at ground level. Uh, you generally need four squares to place them on. They can be a bit fiddly to place sometimes. Uh, but yeah, just... There you go, there's one there. Uh, 
and one there. Uh, in terms of connecting them up, use a root combiner, same as you would the solar panel. Go to the power output. into the root combiner and now you can see the combined power out is 221 so you want to connect that up to your battery and you'll see with that amount of power going in that battery will charge up reasonably quickly. Now just a little bit about the batteries. Uh, two batteries in the game, you've got the small and large rechargeable batteries. The small rechargeable battery, it costs you 20 scrap to research, 10 high quality metal to produce, and it will store a maximum of 15 minutes of power. Now these batteries can be wired up in series to give you more storage. I'll do a separate video about that soon. Uh, the large battery, it costs 75 scrap to research and it costs 50 high quality metal to produce. Uh, the major advantage over the small battery, however, is it will store four hours of charge. Okay, so there you have it. That's the brief overview of the batteries, the solar panels and the wind turbines. The wind turbines and solar panels can of course be used together. Uh, just use the root combiners to combine whatever power source and then have it all going into the, the same battery. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.